what I did is, is, is put myself to doing the near impossible. And that's what I've become very specialist at is doing things that are that takes so much practice that I doubt that on any, anyone will ever do what I've accomplished or uh, attempted to do with a chainsaw. You know, educational TV did a thing about, uh, it was t entitled, But Is It Art? Some of the critics in there compared me to Michelangelo. How are you? Good. I, I'm the guy that did the sculptures. And I was just, it's kind of interesting because it started in a wood pile like this. Yeah, something fun to do, yeah. Yeah, 1952. In 1953, I started doing stump art like that, you know, of trees that were in the ground. And that started with the stumps that were left behind whenever we were getting fence posts and firewood. <laughs> but I had a ball here, nice and quiet out here with the yeah, you know, lake. The and coloration. Nobody around. That natural color, I can't get that. Nobody to bother me. You do your best work whenever you don't have any interference, you know. A lot of people told me it was kind of crazy to say he's crazy and he's strange and he does strange things. And, but artists are that way. And I happened to stop and have a conversation with Ray, and, and I came back that night at 7 and watched the show, and I was just amazed. Just amazed at his artwork and the things that he could do in the shows. I think when he's doing his artwork, he's more hidden and more just focused on that. But when he does his stage show, he's more people orientated and he likes to tell about this, the real fine details that he can do. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. The show you're about to see is the only one like it in the world. It is a one of a kind and you will not see anyone else do some of these feats you'll see tonight. I got so sick of people telling lies. I don't carve, period, but they got all over the internet that I'm a carver. I'm not. That's disgusting. I've never picked up a carving tool. It burns me. Still pisses me off. I don't carve, period. It, 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 it's just that simple. I do not use carving tools, so how can I be a carver? But I am a sawyer, definitely, and I have been all my life. Nice white man's teepee, huh? <laughs> Poor old baby, she's just a falling apart, huh? Traveled a million miles for me. I used to travel a 6,000 mile circuit out of Rapid City, South Dakota and I do shows at saw dealers places. Bismarck, North Dakota, 102 degrees out there in the hot sun and these saw salesmen are sitting in air conditioning in there. I sold 14 chainsaws for this saw company. 
got zero. Do you think they'd bring me out a glass of lemonade? No. Yeah. 1980s, whenever I decided no more chainsaw companies telling me what to do. Tell them all to go to hell. All my pictures are fading. <laughs> oh well, it's getting old like me. <laughs> Retired, about like me, retarded. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that coming down the road? I started, oh, I don't know, one afternoon, and I needed a drink bad, bad, I needed a drink, and I said, no, nah, I'm going to do my art, I want it more. So I just gassed up enough, I had enough gas there, I think I had about 20 gallons of gas, enough bar oil, and my chainsaws, and enough uh, eats and everything else and just go right on through and just keep burning, burning, burning. And the artwork, whenever you're sober, is so much better than it is whenever you're drinking. And I like that. And I really figured out I didn't need the booze. Three days, saw the sun come up three times and 47 hours straight. And I woke up and haven't had a drink since. Well, at this point, I can take time to do the quality. And I have collectors like Kiplinger here and other people that are collecting my work because they know it's going to be valuable someday. Someday, not now, but someday. Wait, they wait for me to kick the bucket. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen for a while. <laughs> okay, cushioned, and here we go. Bear rolling. <laughs> We're barely rolling. Roll, roll your bear gently down the hill. <laughs> Who has more fun? Cheese, <laughs> boogers. It was all black sitting out in front of my place. And a lot of people, they, oh no, we don't want that old dirty thing. You know, it had road dust on it and everything else, but it's saturated with linseed oil. Well, Kip come along and I told him what I could do with it. And he says, good, I'll take it. And it came out gorgeous. And that's the only one I ever made like that, setting on its tail. And there was a reason for that, is that I was going to run out of wood to do that right. And I says, well, that's the way the wood told me to do it. Yeah. But it is something. 60,300 pieces out there is a lot of work. And no two of them can come out alike. It's impossible to copy myself, so I don't have to worry about anybody copying me. <laughs> you know, it. If you rely on the old Native American way, things happen the way they're supposed to. Just let it happen. Don't screw it up. You know? <laughs>